guys. We are recording as well. Hey guys, you hear me? Yo. All right. What's up, buddy? Nothing, man. Just listen to you. <laughs> <Talk. laughs> Dude, I, I told you guys, I was warning you, man. I had caffeine right before this, man. <laughs> I feel like a roadrunner, bro. I've been I've been staying off caffeine valve for like two weeks because I felt like my heart was going to explode, bro. So now when I have a caffeine, it's like, it's like crack heroin, dude. I'm like off the rails, man. I'm like flipping tables. Is that, is that what they're calling it nowadays? Caffeine? I, I don't know, dude. This whole NFT market's got me jacked up. I'm freaking doing all this stuff, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So what's up? What's up? So, okay. I guess I'm here for any questions or we can talk about the, with the watch list, right? Guys? Well, Val, let's, do you want to do, let's talk about this bubble watch shit, list, man. Like list. how ridiculous this NFT stuff is. I know I covered it a little bit in the beginning, but bro, uh, there's like, really nothing to talk about MFTs. They are just another sector play for me. Uh, to me, everything is hype. Everything is way beyond. I mean, this is just a brand new beginning, right? And stocks are tripling up. Why are stocks tripling up? MFT is not making companies any money. No, thing, right? So these technologies are usually years and years ahead of its time. These are all hyped, just like the dot com bubble. When the when a company had a website made, boom, it just tripled in price. Same thing with with what you said earlier in 2018, when every company wanted to crypto, crypto and Bitcoin, they tripled their company. So that's that's the whole thing with MFTs. Same thing with the next thing that's going to come up is going to be some whatever else is going to come up, right? So it doesn't matter. Remember, it was marijuana. It was every sector is ahead of its time. It doesn't matter. The way we trade is very simple. We ride it on the way up since it's front side. So you go along and then you wait for the top to set and then you can short. Well, this and Bell, from, from, my, from my recollection in 2017, brother, and tell me, tell me if you have a different perspective, is when something is so new to this, like, like honestly, I think TCAT is the first NFT one we've seen in the small cap one. Don't underestimate these, right? Like, dude, they, they, it can last two months for God's. I remember the crypto one, but it lasted months and things ran like 800%, like it was nothing left and right. Yeah, it could run forever. Who, who the hell knows, right, guys? It was crazy. Basically, this is basically trade. Stocks can run to a thousand dollars, a hundred bucks, doesn't matter what it is. It's all on hype. It's getting hyped up, so it doesn't matter whether we trade the same exact way. It's the same process, guys. Apply to different sectors. We have videos on all this stuff. So yeah. So if you guys take it one step further and say, "Oh, well, well you know," fucking like, trading. well, and the guys that want to do like mental stops, dude, I'm like, bro, there is never a better example right now when these sectors start coming up. You know, from the woodwork, just randomly, guys, you need hard stops because this is the perfect example of how one trade you're done. You're absolutely done forever if you keep adding from seven to 19. So don't underestimate these moves, man. Do not underestimate the sector. I, but it, but it, like, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's the same process, guys. Just get through your head. It doesn't matter. It's MFTs, marijuana, Bitcoin, shitcoin, Dogecoin. It doesn't matter. It's the <laughs> same process. Stop overanalyzing. Stop trying to figure out how much MFTs are worth. They're worthless, dude. Correct. Correct. I, so, as a trader, guys, you have to distinguish, are you an investor or are you a trader? If you're an investor, sure, buy this shit, hold this shit for 100 years if you like. But we are here day trading. And in the short term, things get pumped up and they get dumped down. So pump and dump. These are all pumps and dumps. Correct, man. So any of you guys, man, who are, you know, like I said, man, throwing caution in the wind and you're a little bit loose with your stops. Once you see this stuff happen, that's why I want to bring that one and talk about it is guys, they can go a lot further than you think, especially when it's a sector craze. So like Val said, it's the same process. This is all front side. There were no shorts on this today. This was a, this was a long through and through, but I, I'm just saying, these are not ones where you get bailed out, man. This is the action where you start seeing where you actually do have to obey your hard stops. Like it's the Bible. Take it from me, dude. I got my face ripped off in the beginning stages of that crypto 2017 run because I thought I could obliterate and just add, add, add. And then after like two weeks, I was like, holy shit, dude. What are hard stops? Okay, boom. Let's use them. <laughs> yep. And you were also holding shit overnight, remember? I do remember. I'd wake up and Mara gapped up like $3 and I was like, holy shit, dude. So basically breaking every rule because why? You, I think you were on a good streak. Dude, I was on the best streak I'd ever had. And then the crypto craze came around and it, and it like leveled like months of progress back in 2017. And I was like, I was like, dude, I was even telling Bao and he was like, bro, like you can't hold this shit overnight, man. This is sector craze. This is crazy shit. 
And yeah, this, this is why you need M M M MIC, dude, because <laughs> we, we check you real quick because the biggest losses always happen after the biggest wins, man, because you get very arrogant. You don't follow your rules. You break the rules and get away with it, things like that. That's why you need a tab. I mean, the trading guys, people think that they – Oh, I made money a couple of weeks. I don't need uh, MIC, MIC anymore. I, I learned enough. I see I hear so many of those guys, and they always end up broke. I'm telling you right now. Well, those guys are just never heard from again. I mean, it's it, guys, it's clockwork. You know, pattern recognition is in anything, man. A Tinder app, the stock market, NFT bubble. Dude, pattern recognition is everywhere. Those guys that talk like that, we never see them again after about six months. Trust me. Unless they wise up and they go, okay, no ego. I need mentorship. I need to get help. What's the first form of mentorship? Number one, the watch list. Val, let's talk about this real quick, man. What do you want to say about the watch okay, list let's, today? Let's go with the watch list. Let's go with the today's watch list. Let's, yeah, let's go through it. Let's post okay. all the charts in this. Let's go one by one and then post all of the plays that will pay for your membership. Bingo. So number one, guys, today was, and I, I like what Val just said, let's go through one at a time and understand. So Alex puts together this every single morning for you, unless he's on, you know, a, a vacation, which is very rare, or he's like in the hospital or something. But dude, he's, he's in here providing the watch list. So today- Watch list as well to the webinars. Oh, so oh yeah, yeah, let me post it. So one sec. Thank you guys. I'll just post it again. Um, so the first one that was talked about today was ZCMD. And I, you know, obviously we're going to give a little information today because you guys have heard this term a billion times over at MIC, especially in our webinars, but we like to talk about what's the hot chick and the side chick of the day. This is called money flow, right? So the first thing is when you're in the morning and you're seeing this in pre-market guys, what do you think this looks like? You think that looks like a short? No. So Alex was saying, look, it's the clear hot chick of the day. I will not be shorting this until I see a death candle. This is an avoid short, more commentary to open. So number one, we go through and like, dude, it started ripping, right? But then it started to put in this massive stuff kind of death candle into the four reject. And then Alex was actually getting, and then dude, you, when you had this VWAP kind of like death drop after the stuff candle, it was go time, right? Like this was the short, but it wasn't that until, 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 like Alex said in his watch list, man, the other things were the shorts. So Val, do you have Alex's charts on these? Um, yeah, which one do you want me to post? Uh, well, the, let's, let's do the Z, one by one. So let's let's see, see the ZCMD one. Well, I think. That wasn't a void, okay? That one was a void. Take a look at Bear's chart. He wrote that all the way down. This is what this is why I did on that stock. Let me show you. Yeah, let's see. Yep. So I mean, I I was I'm a little more aggressive because I've been trading for a little longer than most people. So I mean, I I I respect my stops. I know when to stop out. I know when to cover. So I made money on ZCMD. This is for the more advanced people. But this is not what we would recommend because this is the clear hot check. It's way over VWAP. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't size properly. This is what we say, size down. If you must do this type of trading, this is not a recommended trading at all. That's why Alex says avoid. So this is, I shouldn't even show this chart because people may want to copy it, but you know, you should not trade. You should not trade like this if you're new. See this guys. And, 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 and again, when, you know, when we're speaking to our members, guys, you know, look, dude, I don't have 20 years of experience. Neither does Alex. Bell has a certain skill set that's good for him and, and it's really good for him. So while he can do a level of things that a lot of people can't, we're speaking to the general. We're speaking to like what you guys should do. Um, and, and Alex was saying, avoid, this is not a short until the death candle. We're talking this time right here when it slams under VWAP and then dude, Bell, like what, what was it then? You know, it was, it was, it turned into an easy short after that, didn't it? Because the money flow left. And once the whole thing is, the, this is what we teach. Once it's broken, then you can start shorting it. The problem was this is I was kept waiting for a bounce. It never bounced. So I got one bounce and I shorted, but you know, then it faded all day and I forgot about it. So, I mean, making money is making money, right? You're always going to leave money on the table. So 
Exactly, bro. See, this is not a chase entry, guys. When you see what Bao did right here, getting in right here is a little bit of a chase. That's why me and Bao missed it right here. Is we were actually waiting for a VWAP retest and probably a little bit higher in a 350 for a reject, but because it didn't happen, and then when it breaks down heavily, dude, this is a big bounce. This is a really good bounce into another form of resistance at the 310 line. That's why Bao hit it. So as you can see, if you miss the initial one because you don't get a bounce, it's not like you have to stop. Again, we don't we don't advocate shorting during zombie hour, but if you do, just size down, man, and give yourself wider, wider stops, right, Val? Like, that's kind of the way you go about it. Yeah, but uh, once we put on the watch list, avoid, this is the hot chick, Definitely. that's why you avoid. Take a look at that shit. It went all the way up to $4.10. Hey, very nice, CY. Very nice, man. Yeah, so, guys, again, like, again, dude, when Alex is saying avoid this shit, he's saying it right here. So if you guys are shorting a 320, you think you can weather a move to 410? No, dude, you're shorting right here and then you're stopping out right here. And then guess what? Had you just been patient, had you just waited for the MIC process of a breakdown, a VWAP death candle slam, like I preach every single week for two and a half years, you guys must be sick of me saying it. This is the short. Or yep. here, if you miss that once initial. Top, once the top is set, you can short. So let's move to the next one. because Boom, let's move to the next. That's Alex is the right thing. Alex warned the room. We warned the room. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Those that broke the rule lost. We can't help you there, right? Yeah, and right here, guys, just to kind of advocate what Bao just said, if you did scroll up, if you joined today and you want to, like, actually go back and see all the warning, guys, it's all here. Like, there's so much commentary of what you should be doing as per each ticker during the market hours. Like, whether we're warning or whether we're saying, yo, it's go time on XYZ, et cetera, et cetera. So, yep. If we're going through the second now it's 3 p.m. So let's go through the watches. We'll talk about something else. Okay, so let's go so, through the watch. So huge was another one, right? But this was a broken stock come the open. As you can see, it opens up. It goes up to four. It stuffs down hard. And then starts bleeding, bleeding, bleeding off let's, under VWAP. Let's read what, what it says. So read so, it out. So, so 290. Potential hot chick of ZCMD fails. I see a 290 death line, so I will attack there. And let me draw this for you guys. We got the 290 line because. My chart here, hold on. I got a better chart. So um, I basically just take that watch list, man, and trade off the watch list. Take a look at this chart, guys. We trade what we put on the watch list. This one trade alone would have paid for your annual membership. Bingo. Dude, this is, this is literally an annual trade right there. Why did Alex get this line? 290 deadline. And look where I shorted it. 290, dude. Dude, three freaking oh. perfect, bro. Literally. I waited for the death line. And then um, I shorted the value. Guys, look at this. Again, again, look at this. Potential hot chick of ZCMD fails. But because ZCMD didn't fail at first, I see a 290 death line. So I will attack on the weakness right there. A stuff right there. And then it's off to the races to the downside. As you guys can see, dude, if you would have just seen that, done that trade, you, you, there's two trades for you right there. How to stay safe on one and how to capitalize on another. Let's go to the next. Okay, um, so exactly off the watch list. Huge paid. H-U-G-E would have paid for your membership already. $2.90. So the next one is plug. The next one's pretty simple because, again, not everything is going to hit the exact lines we want, guys. So while Alex was saying this is an accounting fraud PR, but it's actually bad news. This is why we probably have that tank. I actually, explained, I actually explained plug in detail pre-market. I warned everybody that this is not accounting fraud. This is just that they posted an error. And so a lot of shorts got trapped thinking it's some sort of fraud. It's not a fraud. So what I did was I nailed and I bailed and I made money and I, and look, it, it trapped everybody during the zombie hour. Take a look at what it trapped people right during, during the hours that we said do not trade. I just yeah, made let me, my, let me draw a line for you so you can dollar, actually see. I made my dollar two times. It's more than two dollars. I, I shorted at, yeah, two, I made a dollar two times on this stock. This is the zombie hour, man. This is the zombie hour. This is the shit we're talking about. This is what we keep members safe from every single day. And then this is the other time. Like, dude, this is all zombie. So when it comes to the watch list, what Alex was saying, again, not everything's going to hit, right? So if Alex wanted, going back real quick, if Alex wanted, you know, the 40 to 40 the, to 42 level up here, look, it didn't come. So not everything hits every single day. So this is kind of like a null and void, but even still bow hit 
you know, an outer line right here at the freaking 38, 39 level. He showed you right into the previous resistance, this consolidation area. And then it's just a nail and bail. That's what he did. It's as simple as that, but it's effective. So there it is. Okay. Uh, remember, these watch lists are good for shorting. These are short ones that he posted today. Sometimes we put the long ones out there. Yep. But remember, these shorts become inactive, in, invalid after the zombie hour. So don't yes. think yes. this shit happened all day, dude. No. This is only for the open. But that's all you need to supplement your income, guys. Trade one hour. Follow this watch list. You would have made – dude, you would have made your red money. <laughs> dude, so, so when I get guys that text me, hey, Tosh, can, can I benefit from MIC? You know, I work full time. I go, do you have an hour in the mornings to trade? Literally, do you have a first hour and then you go to work? Yeah, dude, of course. Dude, <laughs> Alex makes millions of dollars a year trading one hour a day. And I'm not saying that's going to happen to you. I'm just saying, dude – He's not in here trading past the first hour. This watch list is made for the first hour. He <laughs> he fully incorporates it, and then he's done. Like, it doesn't get easier than that, right? Like, it's simple. So when it comes to GME, um, what he was doing today is he was looking to go Dude, long. If two chart, I can post his chart. Uh, his GME was dead on the money. So. Dude, dead on the money. Seriously. Um, he was saying, I'll just read it real quick before I show Bows. Looking to go long if 208 holds for a dead cap bounce to 220. Okay, let's go to – Bow, where you at? Look at that. Dude, Bow, you're an animal, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. You're an animal. Self-explanatory, man. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Guys, look at this dead cap bounce that, that, that Alex called. So, bang, like, dude, we're like three for three off the watch list, man. Seriously. Okay, so T Cat just tanked, took OCG with it. This is what we call sympathy play. We'll talk about this in the next webinar. Ah, starting death channel finally. Say, but, you know, these are the topics that we talk about, man. Sector plays, sympathy. We know which one's the head of the snake. Notice someone asked who, what the head of the snake is. There's a valid reason for that. Just knowing this alone, you could, you would never know this shit on your own, guys. I'm, I'm not joking. How it took you? years to fucking know this shit. How would you even fucking know this shit? How would you even know that TCAT, that, that OCG, you know, traded along with TCAT? You know, I mean, shit like that. I mean, even I didn't know this. I had to ask someone. And there are a lot more smart guys in the chat room than just me, guys. I'm not See, that guys, smart. if you're brand new to trading, you're just going to think, oh, OCG is going down too. Oh, and TCAT's going. Well, dude, they're linked. Because, because they're part of the same sector. That's the whole point. You guys have to understand this. There's so much we could teach you that you don't, you don't even know what you don't know. That's the scary part when all these traders try to do this shit. They just go, oh, OCG's tanking too. Well, there's a reason, dude. There's a reason because TCAT's finally showing some weakness and maybe putting in a death candle. Very small. I wouldn't consider that a death candle, but it is a nice rejection off a high of day. Try to break for the fourth time at the 20 level, that psychological price target. Makes sense? And TCAP, the VWAP is 1490. I'm Hugely like deviated, still way above VWAP. So this is dangerous for shorts, man. The trend is still intact. It's a new sector. Would I short this year? I still if, wouldn't. If man. I was a long, tiny size, an 18 line would be good. That would have been the support line that bounced off again. So that's a double support line. Dude, put a no, stop this out is at $17.80. Guys, you want to see how sync we are within process? Me and Bao were talking over each other right there. I literally just said, dude, this is not a short yet. And he's talking about longing at 18 on the first bounce. Do you see what we're saying, bro? This is like, it's so clockwork that it becomes reactionary. You just know how to read a chart. There's no guessing. There's no, oh, TCAT's overinflated. I think this should come down. So now I got a bias to short. So, okay, death candle. Yeah, let's get it. No, yeah. dude. But the whole thing is this, man. When I started trading, I thought it all random, right? And so what yeah, we did. Is not fucking random, man. We know exactly where to enter and where to exit and where to bail for a loss. We may not, it may not happen all the time. That's why you have proper risk management. There's nothing that's 100% in life. Just have death and taxes, right? <laughs> death uh, and taxes. And so, in order to make, in order to pay taxes, you you should be making money trading. So that's a good thing. If you pay taxes, that means you're doing well, guys. So don't get pissed at the tax man. You know, there's a lot of guys that wish they paid taxes, right? Um, means I'm just taking a loss, but um. So we teach you where to enter all that. So when I'm looking at this $18 line, I mean, dude, how do we even come up with that shit? You know, that's John, what nice. All right. So SSKN, let's take a look. SSKN, another low banger today. Well, yes, but this high, I, I this, this. let me see. Alex traded this. I'm going to show you Alex's. Um, uh, 
Alex said, looking to short a pop at 250 with obviously when he's, you know, this goes without saying, it's not like he stops out of 251. There's, you got to scale into the outer lines. And if you guys. There's his chart is exact. Yeah. So let's see. Yep, exactly, bro. You got to give yourself room to scale, right? So he started from, oh, and guys, take a look at this. I teach this every single webinar. When I do outer lines, where do we do? We do from the whole and half dollar marks, which is like 250, to the base of the candles. This is where I give it, right? This would have been my stop out. Bro, he scaled all this and look what happened. That's the whole point. If you guys know how to scale and where to scale, and I was warning all morning. I said, guys, this is opening up. It's a little beaten down. It's opening up a VWAP. It's outer lines are past. If you're not, if you're not waiting for outer lines, avoid this shit. And arguably, Alex likes to start in a little bit earlier than me, so 250. But dude, outer lines, man, it, it hit him perfectly. Like this is all processed every single day. We sound like broken records because it's teachable. It's repeatable. Yep. And just by <laughs> the watch list, man. I mean, you don't. The, the key is this, guys. You don't have to trade everything on the watch list. You watch because you use a couple of things. You use it as a learning tool. You can learn to see why the mindset that we say to short these lines, where these lines come from. So you can, people use them to copy them to trade. Some people use them to learn. You know, there's many ways to use the watch list, guys. This is your guiding light, man. Every Even single we day. Give you a watch list, is, the funny thing about the watch list is we give out these watch lists and people are still shorting way too early. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> I mean, they can't help you there. Uh, FOMO is a, sh you know, is a, I mean, FOMO is a bitch, right? So, um, FOMO and greed. I mean, dude, we can give out the best, best fucking trades in the world. People will still do what they want to do. So that's guys, why I always, you know, discipline is the most important thing in trading, discipline and risk management. If you can curb your ego, FOMO, and, and greed, man, you'll be a hell of a trader, dude. You'll be a hell of a trader, but you got to curb those three. You got to curb your ego to say, look, I need help. Let's seek out help. And then when we give you the golden roadmap every single morning to shorting, to even reverse psychology longing, if you guys read this as a long and know what not to touch long, guys, curb your FOMO, curb your greed. The proof is in the fucking pudding every day, dude. There's just no way around it. There's no excuses anymore. If you guys aren't reading the watch list, if you guys aren't asking for the help you need, if you're not waiting for your lines and you come to me on a trader call and you're like, Tosh, I'm really struggling. I'm going to literally ask you, you waiting for your lines? You reading the watch list? You watching our videos? You doing the MIC? Pro Why are you fighting trend, bro? Why aren't you waiting for your lines? The MIC process is not biased. You are either obeying the chart because the chart's telling you you have an edge, or you are wanting to make and force money. So there you have it. That's how you use the watch list to make money, and members are using it to make money. <laughs> Dude, it's so sick. Membership pretty much pays for itself, guys. If you do a couple of things, get rid of your fucking scanner. Your scanner is fucking useless. <laughs> uh, I, I looked at my scanner maybe a few times a day only, and that's all pre-market. Dude, and Val posts them for you guys. So the things that he's looking at, he literally posts in here for you guys. Yep. We don't alert. This is pretty much as close as alert we get. We, we, we tell you what we are going to do ourselves. And, you know, these are watch lists put out one hour before the open, guys. So guys, what Bao just said on how you're going to save money and how it's going to pay for MIC alone, let me, let me actually break that down further. The money you're going to save on a scanner, the money you're going to save being with our preferred partner brokerage is literally, dude, the perks. I mean, bust out the spreadsheet and probably the promo I'll throw you if, if I'm feeling generous. Dude, your annual membership is going to pay for itself, man. Like you got to do the math. So when you're holding off on education only because you got an ego, curb that shit, dude. We have every tool you can imagine to actually help compensate you by the end of the year on what the membership costs. And to go a step further, to go a step further, let me show you. DM uh, Brian Rivera. You want, you want to write off your freaking MIC membership? Talk to this guy. Dude, literally send him a DM. Like, what's up, Pim? How do I get a write-off? Tax deductible. MIC is tax deductible, guys. Like, dude, <laughs> what more do you guys need? I hope that helps, guys. I hope that's very clear. If we beat this down your throats, it's because it works. It's because we're confident. It's because we have thousands of testimonials of it working for members, man. And we want it to be for you as well. So, you know, sometimes we're blunt. Sometimes we say, look, man, 
if you're not working, you know, you know, having a work ethic, if you're not putting in time, if you're not reading the watch list, of course you deserve to lose, dude. It's all right there. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> so, Bell, what, what, what's going to be your first NFT purchase, brother? Is it going to be that thick Pikachu? <laughs> so let's take some questions. Let's do that. I think let's that take some questions, guys. Shoot your questions over. Who's got some questions? Okay, take a look at the time, guys. This is the danger time for shorts. You better not be fucking shorting. Any time, guys. Here, I'll pull up. Uh, someone just asked about Tesla, dude. Is Tesla a bad short on this failed follow through, I, dude? I mean, look at the time, bro. Michael, the time is telling you not to short. The trend is telling you not to short. What do you What do you see for a short in Tesla when freaking QQQ? Because for those you who don't know. People are shorting shit just because it's up. Don't short stuff just because you think it's up too much. There has to be a reason, guys. If you do not know of a technical reason or a fundamental reason, then you should not be fucking in a stock long or short. You have to figure Correct. out why you're in the stock. <laughs> Cirillo, I'm not laughing at you, bro. It's just funny what you said. Yeah, scanners help me lose money quicker because <laughs> that's what they do, bro. Yeah, look, at the, look at the fucking time. You should, should not be showing strong shit during this time. Definitely not. Definitely not. Guys, for those who are not familiar, uh, any tech stocks, like which Tesla is actually, for those who don't know, considered a tech stock, which is kind of funny, but it is, you've got to watch the cues. This is the S&P 500 for tech stocks. This is, the, this is the market of tech. So if tech is blasting through and you're like, hey, man, let's post it. Well, I want to short some tech. Well, why? You're crazy, dude. You're fighting trend. So that's that in a nutshell. Plus five banging up. Um, who's got some questions on maybe small caps? Like, do you guys have questions on TCAT or other things like that? And why the hell did, okay, there we go. There's so many red flags to short this day. What did Bow and I say, dude? This is not a short yet. 18 line would have been amazing for a first bounce off this little bit of weakness. That's this drop to support you need at the 18 line right here. There's no deviation, coincidence. Deviation from VWAP. There's so many fucking reasons, dude. Guys, look at this. 18 whole and a half dollar number. This is a support right here on this previous resistance. And then you also have what we talk about every single week. You have a huge deviation from VWAP. What does that mean? It means shorts are trapped as fuck. And now it's breaking new highs. Bell, we fucked up, dude. We should have long that shit. I know, man. Fuck. And damn, damn. Damn. I feel I, it's shit like this that actually gives me a lot of FOMO, man, because I, dude, I lived the 2017 crypto craze. And I swear to God, bro, I told myself when one of these comes around again, this is the new NFT bubble. I'm not shorting for a month. I'm going to be a long trader on dips, dude, <laughs> until they don't work. Oh, take a look, TCAT, all at three o'clock. Three o'clock, man, the golden rule. Guys, 20, 35 minutes to the close. This is what we preach. L literally, I like, this, this, oh my God, this is so processed. I can't even begin to tell you, oh, man. man. So stupid. I should have went long too. Shit. I, I lost track of time. That's what, that's where we, we do these webinars to help you guys. So <laughs> any questions, guys? This is huge, man. This is huge. Don't ask stupid shit. Like, what do you think a stock will do? Why, would, why, why? If you have to ask, don't trade that stock, guys. Seriously. Ask how to make money, how the process works. Don't ask a specific stock. Don't ask us to give you an alert. Don't ask, I mean, that. those are just dumb questions in my opinion. You should ask, if someone's rich, don't ask them to give you a stock pick. Ask them to teach you to trade. Bingo. So that you can keep doing this show on your own. And that's hey guys, the MIC and everybody else, right? MIC is the only one that's actually mentoring people. Other people are just giving stock picks and you're fucking basically making the other people rich. And, and, and guys, the worst DM I could ever get, well, it's not ever a DM. It's usually a text message because they're not in MIC. And I get these every day. I can't, bro, I can't even answer these back because they're so horrific. Someone will literally say like, dude, I'm short, you know, $7 on TCAT or something. And it's at 21. What do I do, man? My whole life savings in here. I can't, I'm not going to give you financial advice like that, bro. That's insanity. Like, don't expect us to save your life if you've already been stuck for two months on a position. Guys, that's craziness. Yep, we we're not stock advisors, guys. We don't, Bingo. Advise, we don't, we don't, I, there's no reason for us to give you advice. We teach you what we do. 
We do not yeah, dude, give nobody's got a crystal ball. To be advice, so nobody's got a crystal ball. If you if you think that me and Bao know that this is going to go to either 10 or 50, you're out of your mind, dude. We don't know where it's going to go. You know what we do? We play the lines. It's telling you you have an edge on the long side, so play the play the long edge until it doesn't work. If a short like SSKN or, or um, what was the huge? Oh, I'm sorry. One sec. If huge was a broken stock today, guys, we are shorting because the short edge is there until it's not there. That's the whole point. That's what process is. We're just playing what the chart is telling us to play, not our bias. We don't know where these things are going to go. We don't care where they're going to go. We play our edge line to line. It's as simple as that. It's a religion. But look at this. Look at this insanity, dude. I knew it. Fuck, I knew it. Val, dude, this new crypto, this new NFT craze, man. I, I tell you, I'm going to be with, if, if, if I ever see an NFT PR, guys, for the next like week or month, I'll tell you, I'm going to be really cautious on the short side. I've lived through yep. these. And yep, you're not short these fucking shit too early, guys. Nope. Our tip for you. I am going uh, to be a little bit more wanting along these days because of this crazy sector hype. And again, it's just line to line. Still have your hard stops, but I am not going to go with the intention of, oh, it's up, it should come down. Bullshit. These can go up and stay up and stay up way longer than you can remain solvent. Nobody has other questions? It means we're doing well. Nobody has questions. <laughs> <laughs> we're burning through this, man. <laughs> not at all. Watch list is for short bias. Is there a watch list for long? Uh, yeah, you can reverse engineer the short for the long. That means those are the areas that if you went long, that you should maybe look to reduce. Don't just look at these as short. When I warn these things not to short, you should think about going long. Well, and how when many times? I'm, when I'm telling you times? my resistance lines to short, those are the areas that you should reduce your long. And, and Bao, how many times are you in main trading chat actually giving live commentary all day of what is a good long and what is a good short? Guys, this is just to prep you for the we're, open. We're in there all day long doing this stuff, guys. Exactly. Longs and shorts are the same thing, right? A buy is a buy, a sell is a sell. Guys, a short sell is nothing but a sell. A, long, a cover is nothing but a long buy. Bingo. Well said. How do you avoid the death candles when you're long or try to catch a bounce? Dark Mike. Val, you want to answer that one? Say that again. How do you avoid the death candles when you're long or trying to catch a bounce? Why the fuck are you trying to catch a bounce on the death candle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. That was the first thing I was going to say. You should use a hard stop. Death candles come out. Death candles come out of the blue, out of nowhere. You're not supposed to be able to guess when the death, when the death candle is. If, if I could guess when the death candle is, I'm going to be a fucking super rich guy. Yeah. So, you know, Dark Mike, man, look, again, death candles are a reactionary trade for short sellers. We are waiting for the death candle to then short after on bounces on something. Obviously, this didn't even have a death candle today. This would have had to have been about two times bigger to be a death candle. And even still, this is just, again, this is sector. So this is not a great example for a death candle. But dude, if you're long a stock, you're not super worried about death candles because you're not Dude, you're not longing on the high a day breakouts like these fucking chump chat rooms that are pumping shit. You are waiting for a nice gradual organic dip or a nice pullback to then buy its support for a launch later into you know the the next high of day breakout. You're, so it's again, man, you're buying at support, which you know if something's already death candled, it's already told you it's death candled. But if you're waiting for a nice dip or a nice pullback like we did here, even if it did death candle from 18 lower. Bro, you have a great entry right here that you can just stop out if you're wrong. So it eliminates a lot of that R&R &R and risk, risk to reward. Do you see what we're saying? You're not caught buying here, or I'm sorry, you're not caught buying here at 20, and then boom, it death candle is on you to freaking 16, and you're left holding the bag down $4. Does that make sense? Death, yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Happy I, to help on that, that, man. That, 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 that question leads me to believe that you have not watched many videos. And so the first step is to watch Joe's trading basics, guys. I'll show you guys. Do, do not be lazy, man. Do not be lazy. Do not use us as Google because you're just cheating yourself. We will answer your questions, but all you're doing is cheating yourself. Okay, so you see this right here? See this? Trading basics with Joe. This is what Bao just said. Uh, if you're brand new, don't you mind. You see the TCAT? Fuck, I should have bought the 18 Bro, I'm right. so pissed. We should have won this. It's a four-point move. Do you see that? I was right. That's, that's his first bounce. 
So, so Bell, let's give them a tip on the first bounce, right? I love this tip that you That's said not because I use this for you. shorts. Okay. No, we're not gonna give anybody tips on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was just gonna say because you already you already showed the line. No, no, say, that's not. I, we don't need to say it. We. I said eighteen dollars was the fucking bounce and it's four dollars up since then. And, you know, <laughs> All right. Hey, need. I was gonna. If you, if you I was gonna learn the rest. Join MIC. I was gonna give you a nice tip, but Bell's handcuffing me. <laughs> there's, there's. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I mean, people think they could just watch like one video or or just hear this topic and think they can trade. Exactly. Is uh, fuck. Are we doing the? Are we doing the sell still? Um, I think we're doing off the first month, but I'll tell you what, man, if, if you're feeling generous about, we can run it. No, I'm not feeling generous. Fuck this shit. I'm not feeling generous. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, we I, I'm actually feeling kind of pissed off. <laughs> pissed off because I'm getting so much shit on IG. Val, I've been following you for years, but, um, you think I should join? I'm like, dude, I, I, I'm going to start maybe stop answering DMs because people think that just because they asked me a question that I answer that they learn enough. Val, I'm not even kidding you, dude. Shit, I'm, not, dude. I'm, I'm not, not so sick of this. I've been following you for years. I'm like, fuck, dude, uh, for $199. Val, I literally- You, you, you are so fucking cheap not to fucking join for three years and you're still struggling. Three fucking years you've been following me, still asking these beginner questions. Three years. During those three years, you could have been probably making a shitload of money. The first year you learn, then then the rest, you follow the recipe, follow the process, you will make money. You know, I just don't understand some of these guys. I've been following me for years and they're still fucking like not doing shit. $200, I bet you, take a look at what the fucking shoes you're wearing. Those shoes probably cost you more than a fucking, fucking 200 bucks, dude. I just don't fucking get it. I, the amount of shoes I made today, the amount of shoes that Alex made today, I could fucking like, Go back to Vietnam to fucking feed the whole village, dude. Of shoes, you know. Well, the best um, part is, the best part is, is like I swear to God, dude, it's like freaking guys are like who are asking these questions, like, dude, I I've been following you for three years, still haven't signed up to like head to tone like Tom Ford and shit like that. Uh, <laughs> like all just, designer, seriously, dude. There's, there's, I mean, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> say, I'm not gonna answer anything. Uh, Alex did a sell. I'm gonna honor the sell, but I'm kind of pissed off the fact that you know people are fucking too lazy. Um, I'm not in a good mood today because, I mean, dude, we show everything and, and, and getting these messages. Like, I've been following you for years. And they're still asking, oh, you guys are scam? I'm going to go fucking like, dude, nah, I don't, I don't, I'd rather you not join. Seriously, guys, we, we, we only want to, we actually kick people out, man. We only want people that are serious about learning. We're not here to pump our stock. We are the only community out there that do not alert, that do not get on the microphone, do not fucking pump our positions, not pump low floats. We want you to learn. So this is actually hurting us. You, we are, you are learning. Those other guys want you to be dependent upon them so that you will be a fish, a sheep, until you blow up. That's not what we do here. We're actually teaching you to make money. And if you don't want to do that, then you can join any of the other services and blow up. So Bro, uh, let's talk about, let's, so let's, um, uh, there's no more questions. We can show them the, the sell that Alex gave, which this, is the $99. And that's pretty much, you know, uh, unless someone has a good question, I'm not going to answer any more questions. Like, what do you think of the stock? That's an alert question. You can go ask fucking tons of these other chump pump, pumpers, and they will tell you, buy my stock. Buy fucking LTCNC. <laughs> Man, I'm so sick of you. Fucking fat, bald fucks pumping LTNC. No offense to the fat, bald fuck. That could be me one day, but... um. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, dude, it's just disgusting, guys. Sometimes I look at Twitter, I'm just, I'm just disgusted by the amount of fucking garbage out there. These fat fucks, old fat fucks, <laughs> pumping two dollar, two cent stock, and they're getting five dollar price targets. I mean, are you a fucking moron? Jesus Christ! If, if, if I was the SEC, if the SEC is listening, hire me. If you give me fucking commission, I will clean up the whole fucking industry. I have a fucking list right now, and I have fucking proof to lock everybody in jail. Yo, I <laughs> love when he's out like there. This. Fucking come get me, man. Come fucking talk to me. Uh, give me a fucking percentage. I will fucking destroy this industry. Yo, just give that one percent. He'll be a billionaire tomorrow. <laughs> it's fucking true, man. Pump the dump <laughs> bullshit. The fuck. Anyways, guys, I'm so sick of this shit. Um. No just, discounts for anybody. I just want people to learn. I just want fucking people to learn, guys. Seriously. 
when I hear these DMs, it just pisses me off sometimes. I, we work way too hard. I mean, fuck, dude. I'm here since fucking 4 a.m. nonstop. I have not eaten a fucking single meal, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hangry right now. I'm hungry, angry, you know? I'm hangry. <laughs> I literally did not eat all day long because I attended this webinar to help you guys as well. And so these, these webinars we're doing, I mean, people think that this is all they need to learn. I mean, $23, guys, are you investing in a Gucci belt or freaking how to learn how to make a ton of money in the markets, dude? Seriously. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna calm down because I'm really hungry and really angry right now. And I can tell Chuck, hurry up and end this webinar. <laughs> Yo, somebody <laughs> give that a corn dog ace that. Seriously, dude, I need fucking. I'll take that corn dog, shove it up someone's ass. But, um, <laughs> um, Bro, this is the hardest I've laughed in a long time, and I've been watching yeah, Steve do videos yeah, all week. Okay, dude, I've been drinking this fucking tea. So you think you're hyped up? I'm hyped up on fucking tea, caffeine, caffeine. <laughs> Guys, you have to, dude, let me paint a picture for you. You have a multi millionaire trader of two decades ripping your asshole open right now, pissed as shit because you're not learning. Not because you're not signing up for MIC, it's because you're asking him dumb questions after three years, or maybe you lost all your money. You didn't have the ego to get one month of education to see if MIC is right for you. Seriously. Do the comments that he doesn't, dude, we don't need you to sign up for MIC. You have to think about that. MIC was built by millionaire traders, found Alex, who wanted to help people. I, I, we, 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 we launched MIC because I was pissed off at the other chat rooms that are all they're doing is pumping and dumping their shit. And so I said, fuck this shit. I'm going to show everybody how to trade the right way. And look at this. Even the furus out there with the other chat rooms are all using our fucking strategies. Dude, the, the best part is people think MIC was made for the money. MIC was made out of the pure hate of all the competitors. Yep. I did that people. I will fuck you. I'm going to fuck you up by showing people how to trade so that they won't fucking fall for your scams. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to get SEC on the phone, man. We're going to get you that commission, bro. We're going to retire on an island from SEC commissions. <laughs> look, look how many members MIC have. We don't lose many people. Guys, 2,100 today. People, people are fucking learning, guys. People are learning. This is no bullshit. You don't hear people trolling us. The only trolls are probably paid trolls from the other rooms are pissed off at me. And bring it on, man. They're, they're, the only thing they can troll about me, because I posted jokes about the stimulus. They thought that, that was my fucking stimulus. When all the deposits were only fans transactions. <laughs> oh, my God. I just, oh, I just don't understand. I mean, <laughs> pull that up, dude. Oh, my fuck, dude. Bro, I, I, I apologize. I'm hangry right now. I'm hungry as fuck. <laughs> that means I, th I don't know what Val's more mad at—the fact that he's hungry or the fact that he missed the 18 line trying to educate you guys. Yeah, I'm fucking pissed because I missed all my long. I'm fucking trying to educate you guys. <laughs> I just missed out on a lifetime membership. Look at this. Look at this. Val post got my stimmy. Now I can finally pay for essentials. And if you go to the essentials, it's only fans, only fans, only fans. And this guy goes, well, now we know they're making less than 75 K a year since he got a stimulus check. Dumb fucks. And he goes, they followed some serious buyers. You sure about this one? Grubs paying for only fans, freaking losers. Like these guys. Seriously, dude. I, I still get, I mean, that's, that's pretty much my day guys. Kind of, I was kind of like laughing at these guys, but then I, I get real serious questions from guys on Instagram all the time. But I've been following you for years. I've, when I hear that, I'm, I'm just like so pissed off. <laughs> look at, bro, look at these comments. It's like you actually spent 1800 on OnlyFans. Yeah, dude. They, they got guys trying to report me to the IRS today because of the fucking stimulus. <laughs> oh, good Lord. They're going to send that screenshot and be like, lock him up. He's an OnlyFans supporter. Oh, my uh, God, dude. So funny. Anyways, I would guys. laugh this hard. To See, these I mean, guys um, I'm a real guy. Seriously, guy. I'm, I'm not politically correct. I'm not, I don't give a fuck sometimes. Uh, the only thing I really give a fuck about are teaching people and helping the people that want to be helped. And if, if you don't want to be helped, you know, by, by, by any means, unfollow me. Don't need to talk to me. I mean, this is a large world, man. You can be friends with a lot of people. You can be friends with the farmer guy. You can be friends with all these fat fucks that pump the LTNC. You can be scammed anywhere in life, guys. You know, you don't have to fucking be MIC and join and learn. Bro, I'll bet these three guys are literally all have Gucci belts. All of them. All they're doing is buying Gucci belts and Hayden. All right, this little trade made me feel a little better. <laughs> See, he's already feeling better. There we go. I mean, a Gucci belt. 
<laughs> Let's see what you did, bro. <laughs> OCG. And hey, enough for a Gucci belt. <laughs> nice. Use the 11 line right there on that nice pop. And it covered a 1058. Solid trade, man. Solid trade. I am going to cover out huge as well. Dude, that thing I wanted back to 228 didn't happen. Bro, did it actually give a freaking pop, man? It didn't do shit. Fucking huge, dude. I was, yeah, huge. Look, look, I, I was actually, let me show my huge. So when, this is like an all-day fair. But so when the stock's broken, I like to add add to my winners. So I, I have a core and I keep trading around my core. You know, hold hold some, trade some. And I just add on pops today. Hardly ever popped. And it didn't really go down. So it kind of flatlined in the day. So that's my huge, huge. I'm starting to cover out. It's the end of the day. Yep. Didn't, didn't notice there's only 18 minutes left. So you notice I was adding, adding, and keep, you know. And that's how we trade here. We know when stocks are broken, we add to our winners if we're short. <clears throat> and same thing with longs. And so, you know, um, <coughs> trading, guys, it's, I call it windows of opportunity, right? You know, you have to understand the lines. You have to understand the window that's the edge is for longs or edge is for shorts. When a stock is broken, shorts have the edge. Don't even fucking think about bouncing that shit. Uh, you would be dead. Take a look at H huge today. You'd be dead. Look at Z ZCMB, right? Whatever. Um, you'd be fucking dead. Uh, take a look at TCAT. If you're short, you're dead. So that window opportunity for a short is gone. TCAT, all longs. Dude, seriously. And and you know what, man? And when the top is set, you know, we, we have advanced form. I don't want to talk about this anymore, but any questions, guys, I'm gonna calm down, take a take a drink of my tea. <laughs> well, by the way, Val, just to kind of end this webinar, because let's get you some food, man. Look what I put in the begin two hours ago. I wrote this on the chart. I said, NFT, new sector, do not be an idiot. Don't underestimate these. Look what happened. It was at 15 when we started this webinar, bro. Yep. Dude, this we talked about the 18 about line, it. and now it's 20. Dude, it hit fucking 25 bucks. Holy shit. Bro, and this could and this could be the start. And that's not investment advice to go long, guys. I'm saying be smart. I'm just, I don't know. It could go to freaking 11 tonight. And the thing is this, guys. Don't be greedy about the long either. Take a look where it came from. It came from like $5. If you're a fucking guy trying to fucking chase – and buying this shit at 24 bucks, you know, that's also throwing your money away. Correct. Correct. <laughs> so there's windows of opportunity, the best time, risk reward, all that. That's what we teach you guys, dude. We are not teaching you diamond hands bullshit. This is no diamond hands. We, I want to teach you to be a diamond trader. These diamond hand guys are the guys that Alex and I take money from. Okay. Yeah, dude. Um, it does. I mean, it's great that you're holding this shit, but you know, man, you want to make money or you want to, you, or you want to get a tattoo of diamond hands. You know I mean? So like, you want to be right or you want to be profitable. It's as simple as that, man. Seriously. <laughs> you want to hold shit, hold one share of it just so that you can claim victory. So you're not just <laughs> shitting your trading diapers. It drops 100 points in one day. Well, Guys, guys <laughs> this was fun, man. I, Val, let's go get some food, man. I'm starving myself. I think I think we did good today, man. I think we got so many lessons out oh, there. Not, yeah, so, so text Tosh, guys. I think we have a $99 first month. It's going to end soon. Is today St. Patrick's Day? Uh, shit, I don't even know. <laughs> Woody, Woody said happy St. Patrick's Day to me this morning, but considering he thought yesterday was Wednesday, I'm really not sure. <laughs> it's today, guys. Yo, Wait. happy St. Patty's. Okay. Today's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day to all you Irish people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm Irish. I'm actually black Irish, dude. I'm like that Colin Farrell type of Irish. So I got to like, I got to party even though I don't I, drink. I, you're supposed to wear all green. I got green underwear on. So kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> my stocks are green today. Knock on wood. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm actually wearing some green in my hat right now. My WM hat. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yep, the markets are green. It's a good day for to be green. So, so $99, $99 guys. guys. You do not have to be Irish. We do not discriminate. We're not racist, racist here. <laughs> you, can be any, you can be orange, yellow, purple. doesn't matter. Bro, uh, we're not racist, sexist, hit up, sexist hit, up anything Tosh, like that. hit up Tosh, guys. Hit up Tosh. Um, it's going to end soon because we can't just give away shit like this for free. Guys, I got you. I'll help you. I'll answer any questions. We're going to stop it here because Bao needs some food. I need some uh, food. One, food. One, more thing, awesome. one more thing, Tosh. One more thing. Uh, talk real quick again about Accelerate. I'm telling you guys, Accelerate oh, okay. is what you need, man. Okay, let me uh, let me go in real quick. Guys, the Accelerate course, let me explain this really quick. 
Uh, if you're just, it, look, man, it, this is not a video course that we created for money. This is everything we've ever talked about in trading, dude, in one video course. It We're not going to sell this for two grand. These other guys are selling DVD bullshit for two grand, guys. Well, we, and, and not just. We, we are using this to jumpstart your education. Because I'm telling you right now, when, when we started trading back in the day, there was no resources. I didn't know where to begin, you know? And so now we made a, you know, Joe made a nice video based upon all of our strategies. And this is where you begin. If you have no idea how to trade, don't know where to begin, you have to get jumpstart. I'm telling you right now, this will save you so much time. And guys, what, what Bao just said, man, dude, the other places or services, whatever you want to call them, clubs, chat rooms, bro, they got 10 of these and they're all for different things, breakouts, death candles, stuff. Dude, we could do that. We don't do that. This is everything we've ever talked about in an eight hour, seven to eight hour course. I think it's almost eight hours. It took Joe six months to create. Um, I am doing some bundle deals with some annual uh, lifetime or annual promotion. It's not included for free, but I'll work with you a little bit on this. But for the guys that are having trouble and not consistent yet, guys, there's no better way to start. I, I guarantee there's no better way to start. You're going to see everything we do within. Se if you can watch seven hours of Netflix in one week, <laughs> motherfucker, you can watch seven hours to better your understanding of how to maybe become a millionaire trader one day, dude. I'm not kidding you, dude. Everything Alex does, everything that's in the watches, there are no secrets left out. This is everything MIC process right here dudes I, i'm i'm i i can't like again i'm gonna start getting mad like val was earlier if you guys are not putting seven hours to see if you can do this for the next hundred years you guys are insane so stop with the gucci belts this is the price of gucci belts um hit me up i'll work with you a little bit text me uh, we'll see what we can do within moderation because again you know dude we're not we're not here to just give handouts all day man seriously but we price it in a way that's very much um, not rape like everybody else, man. To freaking what? What are what are other people charge seven thousand dollars for one year <laughs> of their time? And maybe you get a picture with them at a boot camp. Dude, I mean, we show you the watch list pays for itself. You get get rid of your damn scanner. If you can't afford us, get rid of your damn scanner. Again, guys, last thing I'll say, if you're not laughing and you're not learning, you're in the wrong place. At MIC, you get both. Love you guys, man. It's so much fun every single week, Val. Thank you. Val's got a lot of stuff going on outside of trading right now. I know he's handling a lot of stuff in his personal life. So big thank you to Val for coming today and helping us out. Dude, awesome stuff. Guys, it doesn't take a lot of money to make a lot of money. Check this out. $200 a day is 50K a year. 1K a day is a quarter of a million dollars. And if you don't think that James Freelander is the most – poster boy epitome example of what is possible in MIC a guy that was making 50 to 200 dollars a day up and down treading water for a long time he joins MIC dude he makes at least a thousand dollars a day now every single day almost without fail the kids the kids an animal and, and then he goes oh, to a day job he goes to day job. he's not full-time trader no you do not need to be a full-time trader guys and then he so, yeah so dude so Dude, James is trading in the morning, and then he's got this bikini waxing girls later on and giving dudes haircuts. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> bikini wax. But even Alex, even Alex is not a full-time trader, guys. He just trades the first hour. Alex is not a full-time trader. Get that through your head. And Alex is up, you what, $2 million on the year? You do not need to be a full-time trader, guys. The only reason I'm a full-time trader is because I have, I have no choice. I have to train you guys. I have to educate you guys. <laughs> I'll Otherwise, I'll be a full-time drinker <laughs> <laughs> now that's now that's <laughs> spot on <laughs> dude I, i'd rather be drinking chilling retired guys but i'm here because i want to educate you guys i want to fucking leave a legacy before i fucking croak you know <laughs> so if there's only one thing that Bao has ever said that's a lie, it's what he just said. He will be 90 years old trading in a hammock on the beach. He will find a way. He will never retire. I will say that's the only lie I've ever heard Bao say. <laughs> you are never retiring, bro. I'm going to trade MFTs, bro. I'm going to invest all the money in MFTs and retire. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. I'll catch you next week, man. We'll, we'll see if Bao has time next week. All right. We'll see you back in after hours, guys. Don't send me stupid DMs. Thank you. <laughs> send them all the time. Send them all the time. <laughs> Yo, send them to me. I'll get to them in a little bit. All right, See guys. you, buddy. Catch gotcha. you. Bye.